welcome to real civil youtube channel in this video i am going to compare uh, equivalent static method as per is 1893 2016 and as per is 1893 2025 also i am going to discuss the very important point of applicability okay so uh, first we will start with the uh, so this is 2016 uh, the formula for the base shear was VB is equal to AH into W where W uh, was the seismic weight of the structure and this AH design horizontal acceleration coefficient so the formula for this AH was Z by 2 SA by, by G divided, divided by, by R, R upon I, I. okay so here the zone factor or i will uh, show you as per 2025 vb now become vbdh so here i have collected some notations uh, as per 2016 and as per 2025 so the base shear uh, previously it was vb now it has become vb dh that is uh, design base shear so d is for design base shear okay is equal to ahd into w okay so this ahd means previously it was ah now it has become ahd that is design horizontal acceleration coefficient of the structure okay and this is the formula for ah ahd z i a n h t h upon r okay so if you compare this formula and this formula from 2016 the first important thing is of zone factor so in 2016 uh, the approach was the design based earthquake is assume to be half of maximum considered earthquake so that why that's why there was a factor z by 2 in 2016 but in 2025 there is a only z there is no z by 2 so this is the first point next point is in 2016 as you can see here there was SA by G that is spectral acceleration normalized to gravity so there was uh, SA by G in 2016 now in 2025 it is A N H that means normalized horizontal spectral acceleration of the structure so in 2016 SA by G normalized to gravity but the formula consists of effective peak ground acceleration uh, that is Z by 2 okay but in IS 1893 2025 ANH is this is very important this ANH is normalized to the peak ground acceleration so or it is uh, normalized to the local hazard okay and design equation consists of z that is full peak ground acceleration so that is the difference so sa by g and now here it is a n h and previously uh, z by 2 and now here it is z so that is what the basic difference some of the things you can see here that vertical and horizontal both components are there the process for calculation of the seismic weight is same these are the some notations a change in notation base shear then design coefficient and spectral acceleration now in 2016 minimum design lateral force so there was a table uh, minimum design earthquake horizontal lateral force on for force for the building 
so it was as per the zone like zone 2 and there was so this this was basically the minimum ah because we have seen that vb is equal to ah into w so it is like what should be the minimum ah for zone 2 it was 0.7 percent for zone 3 it was 1.1 percent for zone 4 it was 1.6 and for zone 5 it was 2.4 percent of seismic weight of the structure that means simply uh, the minimum ah value now if you see in 2025 the vbdh minimum the formula is 0 0.625 zi upon r into w and that should be greater than or equal to 0 0.015 times the seismic weight of the structure so this is the comparison of minimum design earthquake horizontal lateral force for the building then uh, next important thing is of time period so uh, as you can see here this is the 2016 time period formula and this is 2025 uh, time period formula for rc movement frame with inpill okay so in 2016 it was 0 0.09 h upon root d where h is the height of the structure and d is the base dimension now here you can see they have made more rigorous empirical formula for rc movement frame with infill so in this formula if you see there are some important things are there uh, as you can see h is there but the structural plan density of column structural plan density of masonry wall so these are the things included in this time period formula so we will make separate video on how to calculate this and what is basically the or understanding the structural plan density so you just note that there is a change in the time period formula then very important point of applicability as per 2016 the equivalent static method uh, shall be applicable for regular building with height less than 15 meter and seismic zone 2 so for these types of buildings uh, uh, equivalent static method was applicable but if you see for 2025 in residential building up to two story only two story including the basement and plan area less than 200 meter square so for this equivalent static analysis is permitted so it is for zone 2 and zone 3 and the structural system shall be at least smrf with infill wall at least 60 percent so these are the remaining criteria if you are considering other zones now zones are also changed now there is a sixth zone is added okay but the main important thing is that oh, uh, it uh, it is applicable to only two stories and plan area less than 200 meter square okay so that is the basic change uh, of the applicability and if you go for dynamic analysis uh, there was a point of scaling okay so that point is same that uh, you have to get the base shear in dynamic case at least uh, same as static case if it is more it is okay if it is less you have to scale up so that scaling uh, uh, criteria is still there so these are some of the points from uh, comparison of 2016 and 2025 we'll take one example also to compare and it has been found that the base shear is now increased two to three times than whatever uh, we used to calculate using 2016 so we'll demonstrate this using one example okay so thank you please like share uh, subscribe the channel thank you thank you so much